During spring and summer 2011, a group of international events took place in different European countries in the framework of the project Places and Words of Memory, promoted by several non-governmental organisations and institutions. The project was supported by the European Commission through the Europe for Citizens programme. Activities took place in France, Italy, Estonia and Greece and involved more than 100 participants of all ages and from all over Europe. I am responsible of technical side of the project to try to give tools and possibility to participants to put sense on their photo. I'm a photographer since six years. Matthias um, teaches us how to take a photo. Here in uh, Roubaix, there were many streets with the gold name. The green man in my photo represents liberation. What happened there touched them and they took time to express it. They tried to find the point of view and the reason we can feel it on the picture. I'm doing um, the making of a video. Uh, we do some interview and uh, now we have to cut and to mix and to do a film. Nous avons mêlé des questions, des questions très importantes. Oui. Quelle est l'attitude, qu'est-ce que les, les, les personnes pensaient des, des Allemands en rapport à la mémoire historique some photos of um, some interesting spots in Lille and the surroundings during the last two days and um, now we're gonna modify them and complement some new pictures with the archive pictures and uh, in this way interpret this past in a new way. Learning about uh, Second World War, resistance and things like this and she saw it as, uh, as this kind of mark. And and uh, it is taken inside the, the station. The memorial of um, Jewish people that um, take a train in their station and never came back. It's an old archive photo of a young resistance. I pasted over it a photo of a bullet picture, which was taken in the streets of Lille. And we combine it in a way so that we can see the wounds and effort of these young people uh, to save their country in every way they can. I very much like the subject and the topic of the whole project. J'ai choisi de travailler sur le thème de la résistance à l'occupation nazie. C'est un sujet qui concerne tous les Européens. D'amener les participants à s'impliquer un peu plus, on combine aussi différents, différentes cultures. Donc c'est à travailler ensemble, collectivement, à la création d'un événement public. Donc c'est vraiment lieu de mémoire. Place and words of memory, tools and yard citizenship. Donc je pense que oui, je suis assez contente du résultat. The aim of the seminar is to bring people together from different countries of Europe, uh, having different uh, memory background, 
who share together our past in order to build up our future and to establish a Europe full of more solidarity, especially in actual times. So we are not only citizens of a nation state, but also we are citizens of a world. So we have to be concerned about problems really global. And those issues are related to peace, to war, to democracy, to human rights, to development. This memorial is for Second War victims. Now we are cutting roses. Roses are a live thing. It's like memories are alive. When we give something, we receive more back. And it's, I really like this. Good to be here, talking to people who were overlived, to work with the monuments, to get to know something of the history, like in this place here. And we are working really hard. <laughs> No, it's really, it's really nice. It's a good experience. But this is the first time that we are in the 20th century. And the will to collect and to kill millions of persons needs your dignity, your identity. To the Russian idea that someone is better is superior than others. You agree with the Nazi or not? You agree with the fascists or not? If you have the possibility, you will help me out or not? A lot of persons decided to save lives, not to destroy lives. In Capi, we remember two persons that saved Jews. Think about what we lose with Anne Frank and consider what we lose with all these persons and what we lose with for millions of persons. And so it was very difficult for the survivors coming back to a normal life. We are in Fossoli concentration camp. It was uh, used during the Second World War and before as um, prison, a place where they keep people uh, and that then uh, will be sent to the concentration camp in Germany. working to maintenance of this place to remember what happened there is also a second hand that is let people meet and share their experience it's very important uh, to save the memories people for example who still alive was in this camp for example what happened in our world more than oh, it's 66 years ago I am interested in Jews history because I really care about it people can visit this place and keep our memory alive also, we have to learn from people who help the Jews. We have good weather. We are young and have power. I think this is the most important thing, that we are doing something useful. And after we can tell everybody. I hope that this war camp is for them uh, something that can show them that there is a world outside their daily life. <laughs>